Hi, how are you? It's Iris Klasson and I have a very short video for you today. It's been a little while, I've uh, been a little bit sick, I've had a very persistent cold, yes, in the middle of the summer. Uh, and as you can hear, my voice hasn't quite recovered, but I hope that's okay. Nonetheless, I came across a little problem today and I found a, um, a solution of sorts and I thought I'd share it with you in case you've had the same problem as me. So the problem I've had today uh, pertains to uh, the Azure portal and creating queries and application insights and pinning the result as charts on a dashboard in the portal. Now, when you use the Azure Log Analytics query language, which is a really cool language, very, very powerful, that also has some uh, machine learning functions that you can use, and I've blogged about it if you're interested about that. When you use that query language in the query editor and you get some results, you can pin the results to a dashboard in the portal. Uh, you can have it as a chart or just the rows, it's pretty neat. So you have these dashboards you can choose between. So uh, I've created several dashboards. We have one for our quality and in uh, blah, 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 blah. quality assurance, <laughs> quality assurance environment. I have one for our um, uh, AT environment, one for our production environment, and and so on. And some of the queries that we have are, for example, I want to see exceptions and issues per different tenant that we have. We have some larger tenants that we want to keep an eye on because uh, they do some more complex things with our systems. And if we're going to have some exceptions, we're definitely going to discover them there. Now, the problem is that if you don't get any results from your query, you can't pin it. So here's an example. You can see parts of the query here. I'm not showing you everything. You don't need to see everything. Um, but if I run this query, which I've just done, you can see I have zero records. And usually you can pin it. And there's a little icon here that allows you to pin the query. It's not there. I can save the query, I can share a link to the query, and I can export it to Power BI if I want to. But that's not going to help me because I want to pin it to this dashboard here called Tenant Help. So what you can do is instead of setting the time range for the query up here in the header, I usually try to avoid doing that and set it in the query instead and I'll show you why. So now the timestamp is one day ago. The result that I want on the dashboard is from the previous say two days or one day. I'm not interested in having for, for example, for two weeks, which is as far back as you can go when you when you pin a chart um, to a dashboard. But I'm going to do that nonetheless. And I'm going to run the query. It's probably going to take a little bit of time. Right, there we go. So as you can see, here we have some results here for a demo tenant. And now I have the icon here and I can go ahead and pin this chart and I'm going to pin it to the tenant health. And if I now go here and I refresh, doop, 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 wait for it, so it'll be stopped. Well, you can see it here and here is the result. Uh, the problem is that the result here, which is a little bit odd that it says time from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. because this is two weeks ago. This is not the last 24 hours. And the reason I don't have any results from the last 24 hours is because, well, as you can see, the office is empty. I'm the only one in the office. Nobody has been in QA and tested. Um, so there are no exceptions. And I honestly don't know how to force exceptions in our system. And that's probably a good thing. So what you can do um, is there is a little icon here which says edit query. And I'm going to click on it and I'm going to scroll down here where I set the timestamp in the query and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change it to two days. You have to test it before you apply it. I'm not sure why but it's probably a good thing and yeah all good and now I can click apply and as you can see it says no data for the given query. Woohoo! Publish changes because this is exactly what I want to do. So now at some point when my colleagues decide to come into the office and do some testing, we can see some results here and it will always show for the last 20, 24 hours if that was what I said. Was it two days or uh, la, 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 two days ago? Sorry, last 48 hours. 
So yes, that's how you can do that. Um, I reckon you really should be able to pin any dashboard even when you don't have a result. Uh, but I don't know, maybe they're, they're going to solve that at some point or there is a solution I'm unaware of. Anyways, I hope this helped you and now I'm going to go outside and enjoy the weather and see if I can recover my voice a little bit. It's so hot in Sweden, it's insane. I'm not sure if you heard about the forest fires we have here, it's insane. And it's the hottest summer for as long as we've recorded temperatures in this country, which is 250 something years. So yeah, I, I like the heat and I, like, I love the warm weather, but at the same time it's really uncomfortable that the weather is changing this dramatically. Uh, I'm not sure that's a good thing. Pretty sure that's a bad thing. So I really, really hope this is just like a temporary thing. But nonetheless, I'm going to enjoy the weather and the sun and I'm going to go out for a swim.